Hey everyone, it's Ross. Today's video, we're gonna talk about my raspberry and blackberry bed and kind of the maintenance that's gonna be going into this or has already been done, really. Um, kind of the winter maintenance. I think it's a really good time to do this now, now that it is winter time, um, because you can't really harm the plants at this point. You know, things are dormant and it's a good idea to transplant things now, maybe dig up some suckers and give them to friends plant them in their yard maybe you can even plant them in your yard and create more plants um, and also cut them back you may want to do this on some primacane um, brambles that you have so with me I'm growing only primacane varieties this is Primark Freedom a uh, blackberry that was bred out of the University of Arkansas there's very few primacane blackberry varieties most raspberries though are primacane and I would recommend as a backyard grower that you only grow primacane varieties because they will fruit for you on that New Year's wood. You don't have to wait two years. Um, usually the second crop that comes in in the fall is really nice. It's quite heavy um, and this way with the blackberries because they're way bigger than my raspberries. You know my raspberries are about six to seven to eight feet tall probably seven feet at the tallest whereas my blackberries will literally reach the top of these poles and those poles are 10 feet tall so they're very difficult to maintain to contain and to grow in a dense area the best way to do this I think is to cut them all back to the base and I've been doing this for two years now here's some old places that I've cut them back and here's the new the new growth here that I cut back and this will re-sprout from the base send out new canes that will then fruit for you at the end of the season um, and this is also like I said a great time to transplant things here is a Caroline red raspberry sucker that we dug up Tra transplanted that here right next to my other Caroline red raspberry so now we have two Carolines my favorite raspberry we've also put in a yellow raspberry here which I really like and we've also added in some more Primark Freedom that's quite small you can see that here but the roots are pretty decent on these and these should do really well you know they're not gonna have a difficult time adjusting because it's not warm out right it's winter time things are dormant you know these plants will have absolutely no problem waking up in the beginning of the spring and uh, creating really nice healthy plants so this is the time to do that and that's kind of why I'm making this video we also have I want to just throw this in here a persimmon tree that I planted in this raised bed um, this is one of the few fruit trees or fruiting plants that I would recommend putting in a raised bed it doesn't necessarily matter if you put things like figs you can see here or things like persimmons in raised bed because they they wake up so late that a late frost will almost not bother them um, so things like persimmons here is a pretty good choice and I think it'd be a really nice idea to have this persimmon grow quite tall actually get it over the size of the the raspberries here get it over the size of my blackberries that will come in and you'll see next year um, all in the effort to actually kind of shade out these these air conditioning units I think um, because we're on the west side of the house the sun's very strong here late in the afternoon it's very hot I think that's contributing to our energy bill because these uh, air conditioning units are constantly getting beaten by the Sun they're having to work a bit harder you never know I think it could save us a little bit of money so um, yeah that's pretty much the video guys um, go out and take care of your raspberry and blackberry bed I think this is the perfect time so thank you guys for watching this one I'll talk to y'all soon